What's up, video creator? It's videomark.net again. <laughs> Here's another short one. This is a quick, quick tip. I mean, I have to fill up those November giveaway days somehow, right? So I'm going to keep it short. Before we forget, it's a giveaway in November. You can win a $50 gift card every single day in November. Like this video, leave a comment, and I'll pick a winner tomorrow. Back to the tutorial. Now, when you ask 10 people what their three favorite tools or techniques are in Premiere Pro and the Premiere Pro timeline, you'll probably get 10 different answers. There's so much that you could do, and uh, one editor has its favorite tools. I have my favorite tools, but I'm going to show you my top three and the ones that I think are most effective when working in Premiere Pro. And to begin with, the first one is Control K. These three are actually going to speed up your initial edit, your rough cut, because that's the most time consuming part of editing a video. And when you utilize these, these three things, it's going to speed up your, your work and the timeline significantly. That's what I use basically every time I use Premiere Pro. So the first one is Control K. What does it do? Like, let's say this is my, when I do my tutorials, I'm going to use yesterday's tutorial for this. And this is what's coming out of the camera. That's my recording from the camera. And I'm going to have to chop this up and create a final edit. And as you can see in the waveform here, there's a long gap where nothing happened because I don't know, maybe I was uh getting a coffee or looking up something or changing a setting anything so i have to i have to edit this out so what you might do is get the razor clip and then place a cut and then go here place the cut blah 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 there's a much easier way and that's control k hey does that rhyme there's an easier way that's control k i'm gonna make a premiere pro rap one day trust me all right so let's place the play at here and press control k what this does, it will place an edit right at the position of your plate. You've seen me do this a couple of times and mention it a couple of times, but since we're here in the top three techniques, I'm going to show it to you. And then go over, control K, place another edit, and now we edited this part away. We can do shift delete to delete and close the gap. And we got rid of that gap. That's what I do a lot, what I use a lot. Control K to place an edit at playhead position. And if you've noticed, when I'm moving the playhead around, everything gets selected. Like this, this is just one clip. If I had another one, that one would be selected. Let me demonstrate that to you. Here's a clip and I'm moving it over. Now I'm pressing Control K. And now you see that this clip right here already has been selected. And that's because of a setting. And the setting is selection follows playhead. It's not really a tool, it's a setting under sequence selection follows playhead and what this does now that we have placed cuts it's easier to demonstrate that whatever's underneath your playhead will be selected the track needs to be active for that to work well since we only have this one track there's nothing else but if we had anything something else in the next example then it would be different but um if, if it doesn't work properly just make sure the track is selected over here okay and what this does now it is now that it's automatically selected. Let me re redo that. I place the cut here and I place the cut here. And when I don't change anything now without moving the mouse, I can do shift and delete. Right. And that's a very, very quick way to work your way through a rough cut and get rid of uh, gaps and, and all these things and then work your way through a clip or a raw material pretty quickly. Let's move over to another example. Here we have my camera and the the screen that I had recorded and it's uh, synchronized. And why I'm showing you this is because of a tool named Ripple Delete Previous Edit to Play. <laughs> That's a really long name for a tool. And Ripple Delete Next Edit to Playhead. Long story short, it's the Q and, and W keys. What these do is is this, and it, I'm, I'm using this uh, scenario with two clips because i wanted to show you that it works on multiple clips let's say we have this and then we have our control k we want to place a cut that's the first thing that i want to show you when nothing is selected i'm going to do it again or do it this way when there's a clip selected and we press control k only that clip is being cut okay as you can see so we have to click away in the timeline so nothing is selected. When we press Control K now, everything is being cut through. And that's important because I want to cut 
both clips because they are synchronized, the screen and um, the camera recording. So we um, we really want to do that since I have Selection Follows Play Hit um, activated here under Sequence, Selection Follows Play Hit. Show that again. I have to click away so it's not selected anymore. So I, I can do Control K. Now, why am I showing you this? As you can remember in that other example, I had placed the cut here, but that's not necessary. I want to get rid of this area from the last edit, previous edit, to the playhead, this thing I want to get rid of like on both tracks. Now let's watch what happens when I press the Q key. Boom, it's gone. Simple as that. Again, my favorite thing to say, simple as that. Because this is a super handy and super fast way to work through your timeline, placing these cuts, Q, placing another cut, boom. Ah, see, I made that mistake. Boom, getting rid of that, boom. See how easily I can place cuts and work my way and cut everything together. It's so fast because people have been asking me, dude, how the heck do you create such an episode within 30 minutes, 45, 60 minutes, depending on the length? I'm like, well, I work pretty quickly in the timeline and you have to be quick when you want to be effective. You could be playing around. You could, of course, uh, be doing this and then go ahead and select the razor tool and uh, 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 and then go to ripple edit and then do this and wow and oh my god what am i doing here moving things around uh, right click ripple delete see how time consuming this is and when you can reduce the so-called click mileage it's two seconds now but when you do that a couple of hundred a couple of thousand times a day it's going to add up and add up and add up and save you or cost you hours and hours so um that's how you would work i had demonstrated this q and w technique um in that tutorial i had made for adobe and paramount pictures for the terminator dark fate campaign and people had people had asked me since then uh, wow how did you do that and how does that work and it's as it's as simple as hitting one key that's the q key boom any, everything from the previous edit to the playhead will be deleted and the W key, everything from the, from the next edit between the next edit and the playhead will be deleted. Okay. Super simple. So these three things I use a lot to cut through my uh, tutorials to, to the really in any context tutorial, um, whatever corporate video, anything, really anything, because it basically boils down to selecting your footage, to trimming it down, to extracting the usable parts. And these three things are absolutely essential to be working very effectively. And of course, there's one more thing left to do, and that's picking today's winner of the gift card. And I did start the comment picker and the winner today is Maddie Navarro. Maddie, congratulations for a $50 gift card. Let me know how I can contact you. Everybody else, don't be sad. We have given away 10 gift cards, 20 or actually 19 now are left. So keep trying and I'm going to give away 19 more gift cards with $50 each. So yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial. I, I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss any tutorials and any other giveaways. <laughs> and I hope I see you tomorrow.